Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rose Rides and I write and narrate Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. If you've missed the previous parts of this story, I will link them below, so be sure to check those out. Shout out to Pahu Bachi for their artwork in my thumbnail. Now then, please enjoy Long Lost Love. You loved me then and you love me now? Marinette echoed, her voice nearly devoid of all emotion. Adrian, still as a statue, simply nodded. His face went pale under her scrutinizing gaze. She chuckled in amazement, clearly not finding the situation funny. If you loved me, why did you let me go? Why did he let her go? She was getting on a plane to go to university. He couldn't have told her to stay. That would have been selfish. But he wanted to. Marinette, you were going off to school. I was modeling. It just never seemed to be the right time to... The right time? There's never a right time, Adrian. If we spend our lives waiting for the right time, then we'd be waiting forever. She leaned back in her bed on her forearm, staring at the ceiling. Her tone came out more harsh than she intended, but she meant it. Four years was a long time to be left pining after someone. She had to move on at some point, and to get involved with him again, it'd be too much. Something shifted in Adrian's expression. He went from looking defeated to having a new burst of confidence. Then say you'll go out with me. Marinette stood, gawking at his forwardness. To go out with him wouldn't be so simple. Or would it? She felt abandoned. She loved him, and as she left on that plane, all she wanted to do was crawl into his arms and never leave. But then, she left. They both dated other people, and now here they were, living on the same plane of existence for the first time in four years. Marinette desperately wanted to say yes, but she stopped herself. I, uh, I don't know, Adrian. Her back was to him, so he couldn't see the conflict on her face. She chewed on her lip as she often did when stressed. The boy she loved for so long asked her on a date, and she said, I don't know. Her teenage self would kick her for that. Adrian nodded slightly unresponsive. No, Marinette shouldn't feel guilty, and yet, she did. All of these unrequited feelings rushed back, invading her life for the first time in years. She felt more guilty about feeling this way for him. She plopped down next to him on the bed, holding her head in her hands. Marinette, I get it. You don't owe me an explanation. You just don't feel the same way, and that's cool. Adrian stared at his hands, folded in his lap, feeling his lost love stare burning a hole through him. You think I don't love you? Tears formed in her eyes that she briskly wiped away. After leaving on the plane, she cried over Adrian. The real reason was hard to tell. Because he didn't stop her, or because they had become estranged long before that. She swore she'd never cry over a man, and she had kept that promise to herself. Until now. Well, yeah, I mean, do you? He sounded genuinely confused. What was this game he was playing? He spent years in high school telling her she was just a friend. Then when they actually got close, he let her just leave on a plane to an entirely different country. And now... She flew to stand in front of Adrian, fuming. Adrian Agresk, you are so... So frustrating! His eyes widened in shock. He opened his mouth to say something, but Marinette continued. You could have had me, but no. We were just friends, which was fine, by the way. It took some time to get over you, but I did it. And here you waltz back into my life? Marinette took a large breath after pacing back and forth in her small bedroom. Getting over you was the hardest thing I ever had to do. I honestly don't know if I could do it again. She paused, looking like she wanted to say more, but saying nothing. Just looking helplessly into his eyes that used to provide her with such comfort. 
but they held nothing for her any more. She felt alone. Adrian slowly stood to look her in the eyes. He stood nearly two heads taller than Marinette, so she had to look up to meet his striking gaze, staring pensively at her. He took her freezing hands in his, warming them with his touch. I was an idiot to ever let you go. To ever let you believe you were anything less than wonderful. I do love you, Marinette. I want to prove that to you. Yeah, you were an idiot. She smirked, averting her gaze. Look, Adrian, I believe you. I do. I love you, too. Losing you was too painful. And losing you again would be... What makes you think you'll lose me again? Do you have any idea how much I wanted to come after you? How much I wanted to get on a plane and follow you to New York? Losing you was painful for me, too. But here we are, together. Marinette shifted uncomfortably, unable to move much due to Adrian's grip on her hands. Sure, but what if... What if, what if? What if one day we wake up regretting never giving us a try? Adrian stroked her cheek, wiping away one stray tear. I don't want to take that risk, do you? Marinette shook her head, her hair falling messily around her shoulders. I want to get to know you, Marinette. You're right. We've both changed, but I can't wait to get to know you all over again. Would you like to get a cup of coffee with me? He showed her the smile that made her fall in love with him in the first place. She laughed, easing the tension in the room. Now? It's after 9 p.m. That just means it should be pretty empty. What do you say, milady? He bent down to kiss her delicate hand. The old nickname caught her off guard, but it warmed her heart nonetheless. I'd love to, Adrian. She curtsied, then ran out the door. Hey, it's not a race. He chuckled, running after her. It is now, and I'm winning. She said in a sing-song voice. I love that girl, he thought to himself. Life had brought him back to his long-lost love and he would never let her go again. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, please subscribe. It would really help me out so much. If you want more Adrianette stories in your life, here are some things I think you'll love. As always, stay miraculous!